website or a doctor's website or the Easter Bunny's website, if you so choose. Now, here is an article out of executive and management briefing. Comcast win over FCC reignites net neutrality debate. The most immediate ramification of Comcast's net neutrality victory over the Federal Communications Commission this week is that ISPs might feel less inclined not to interfere in the traffic running over their networks. However, the implications range well beyond that, coloring every aspect of broadband marketplace. Now, this is what China does, but the government is the big ISP, basically, over the ISPs, and it decides what you can visit, what you can't. And they just put you in a blacklist. Australia's doing this. England's moving to do this. In fact, here is an article on that front out of CNETnews.uk. This is a CBS outfit. Digital economy bill, nine things you can't do anymore. And it says, download from us. Download.com is part of the big, happy CNET family. Among the available software and peer-to-peer -peer share filing tools, the bill specifically states that websites such as download.com can be blocked if they're providing tools that infringe copyrights. So... Even legal sites run by CBS that have nothing but legal stuff on there, and they give you tools to download, that isn't allowed in England. Uh, use WikiLeaks. Most worrying is that the same clause also specifically allows for blocking sites deemed likely to infringe on copyright. So you expose a government document, doesn't matter if the government hasn't challenged it, they say that's government copyright, you won't be able to see WikiLeaks. And this is all stated, and it goes on and on. So people need to stop uh, living in denial. Meanwhile, here's Fox News, Glenn Beck, last week. This is from foxnews.com. And it says, net neutrality pits free speech against free press. And he used, in a straw man argument in this article, hundreds of people that have filed with the FCC in briefs for and against ending net neutrality, ending the Internet as we know it. And he used one group out of hundreds that's a Marxist. And says Marxists are running this and that we need to get rid of net neutrality. Meanwhile, Fox News writes articles and calls Homeland Security on me a week and a half ago because somebody made violent comments on one of my message boards. We went to Fox News and found their own pundits calling for violence against Obama and, vi and more violent talk all over Fox Nation. Needless to say, we did not call the feds on them. Uh, but, uh, look, they want to shut me down. They want to shut you down. They want to shut the alternative media down. Mainstream media is getting their butt kicked by the alternative media. And Rupert Murdoch has said this, and they all want to shut down free speech. They can't deal with it. Here's another one. Court rules against FCC net neutrality arrangements and arguments. Now, meanwhile... While we have all of this going on, here's the Wall Street Journal. Now, remember, I call it propaganda placement. It's not just Coca-Cola and Pepsi and Warville Redenbacher popcorn ads that are woven into TV shows themselves and into movies. When you're watching a movie and you see National Guard billboards everywhere and Spider-Man or whatever, millions were paid for that. Or on The Apprentice, millions were paid per episode to show Virgin Atlantic signs. It's not just ads during the ads, it's ads during the show. That's how all media is now, because people glaze over, glaze over a lot of the, uh, you know, the breaks. Now, tens of billions a year are spent on this, and I've been telling people about it, and Congress has ruled it's illegal, and then the General Accounting Office has said it's illegal, but they don't care. But now they admit the government is going to be the main advertiser with U.S. tax money. They're, they're moving away from product placement, NBC says, to pure behavior placement. Now, I'd never seen this term referenced. I called it propaganda placement. They call it behavior, or I would call it brainwashing placement. And it says what your TV is telling you to do. And, of course, they introduce the fact that you're being propagandized with something that sounds reasonable. Recycle, exercise, eat right. But really, it's anti-family, pro-CPS, anti-Second Amendment, pro-torture, pro-surveillance, pro-corruption. You watch any show, you'll see it. And they're being paid your tax money. Those shows are financed to brainwash you. In just one, 
And that's mainly because people for the last decade or so don't trust mainstream TV. And all the polls and studies show people trust alternative media even more. Sometimes I don't know why. I mean, there's a lot of garbage in alternative media. The government's infiltrated that. They have provocateurs out there. But the point is, you should be suspect of everything, folks, and do research. That doesn't mean just be suspect if someone makes a claim. Go look into it. But because they know you're not really suspect of TV shows and movies, that's where the real messages are. And it goes on. In just one week on NBC, the directives, the detectives on Law and Order investigated a cash for clunkers scam. A nurse on Mercy organized a group bike ride. Al Gore made a guest appearance on 30 Rock. And the office turned Dwight into a cape-wearing superhero obsessed with recycling. See, it's just all brainwashing for peer pressure run airheads that watch. Coincidence? Hardly. Now, see, we, we aired the Al Gore stuff at the time a few months ago, and I said on air, I said, that is staged. That is paid for. Turns out it is paid for by the government. It's all paid for. But now they're saying, oh, we're going to pretty much, except for pharmacy ads and drug ads, we're just even abandoning corporations. The government is going to fund this. And remember the FCC had a few weeks ago said, we're going to have government messages and government broadcast systems and government messages and TV. They've always had it. Now they're just going full scale. Land of the free, home of the brave. The tactic, General Electric Co.'s NBC Universal calls it behavior placement. You wonder why every time in football or basketball they make a goal at that moment of heightened enjoyment, they cut to troops, <laughs> clapping. That's meant to say, you like touchdowns, you like a basket, you like a hole in one. Troops did it. Miss America says, I just want to thank the troops. That's paid. It's you wonder why Miss America always praises the UN? That's been paid for for 50 years. It's all brainwashing, and they hand them their talking points. I heard radio ads for Austin Air Force, something to do with the military. Uh, this is like 11 years ago. We have an Access TV show we did. Mike Hansen, I'll dig that out and put it on YouTube. And they were saying, free emissions testing for your cars at all these locations. And if you come to get the emissions testing, you know, $10 or whatever it was off your oil change. So I show up, I walk over to the head of the Austin Air Force, and I said, let me guess, you have a federal government grant, and this is conditioning to prepare the public for new taxes and new emissions testing. And he said, absolutely, Alex, that's the plan. He just laughed. See, it's this culture of enjoyment that the public's just blind and mindless, and mercury's good for me, fluoride's good for me, government my friend, fellow reserve my friend. TV show says so. I see these cartoons, countless ones, where the kids have microchips, where world government's good, where the UN's the savior, all paid for. Going back to Captain Planet, Ted Turner admits that. And, of course, anybody who has a factory is the bad guy. That's because the government's going to shut down anybody's factories that they don't control. This is mafia. This is a takeover. The tactic General Electric Co.'s NBC Universal calls it behavior placement is designed to sway viewers to adopt actions they see modeled in their favorite shows. And it helps sell ads to marketers who want to associate their brands with feel-good, societally aware show. No, it, 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 see, this article itself is deceptive. This is all paid for, and that's been admitted in congressional reports. In fact, Google... paid Government paid for news ruled illegal. I, I mean, when you see... A newscast locally, but it's, it airs in, in every local affiliate in the country, that mercury is now good for children's brains and has been found to be nutritious. I mean, that, that's a real thing that went out from the CBS Broadcast Center in Manhattan. I went and looked it up and turned out that was a government grant. CBS was paid money. And those. It's, this is the big secret with radio and TV stations, the big local marquee station that can put everybody out of business and can't be stopped and has all the power. When you listen to their news... And even their newsreaders don't know this. It's all given to them. It's all product placement. But when it's government, it's propaganda placement or behavior placement. And on all the shows, the cool woman's on Prozac. And on all the shows, the cool woman reports the homeschoolers next door. Why aren't they in school? The messages, homeschooling's illegal. And then always the homeschoolers are bad. 
That's another thing. Another form of propaganda is on cops. They only show you the guilty. They only show you white trash scum. And the message is cops good and clean, public all evil. All right, I said I'd get to all this other news. We're running out of time here. It, it, we live in a total and complete propaganda state. And we're one of the few outfits that's gained any prominence that is effective. And so the federal government is coming in demonizing the inner.